game. Are we rolling? Rolling. HADD Customs, yeah, that's the Okay, game. let's do this. This grill belongs to a 2023 Dodge Ram 1500. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove it to you. I've got the Dodge Ram 1500 right here. New body for this year, I think last year, and possibly the year before. If not, don't quote me on that. This is the first Dodge that I am working on. Long story short, this grill sat in here like so. It's the first time I'm actually trying to put it back in. Here we are. All right, so basically, there were a few things that needed to happen, okay? And I love doing these videos because, like this because it helps us to see where everything's at. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is if there are not videos on cars like this, I wanna give you a little hint um, that will help you out. Um, I've been able to pull apart some of the most crazy expensive cars because believe it or not, even on something like a McLaren or Ferrari, if you search a type of part on eBay, you can see behind that part. You can see if there's clips, okay? You can see where it screws in at, okay? And you can kind of gauge and get an understanding of how to take a part off. For this vehicle, that's exactly what I had to do, along with looking at videos from the older version of this. Um, I don't think I was able to find these parts, but on my estimation software, I believe it showed pictures. And I was like, okay, maybe the clips, not really. But what eBay uh, eBayers will tend to do, especially if it's most of the time it's a part that's come off of a wrecked vehicle where they tried to pull it off, you might see that there's a broken tab. They will circle it, they'll say broken, or they'll point at it with a pencil or a finger or whatever they have to point with. And they'll say, okay, they'll show where the damage is. Fortunately, I was able to take this off and nothing has broken, which is great. That's not always the case, but most of the time. So anyway, this bad boy fits here, as you can see. I'm not gonna press it in because it was very difficult to pull out, but this is where it sits. As you can see, there are three, uh, I think they're 10 millimeter screws that you pull out. I had my guy take this out. Um, and then this molding here actually goes on first. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this part out, this panel was down here and clipped in. Just gonna go ahead and kind of press that in. Now, first thing I took off was this guy, okay? I want you to look, in this corner, we have these screw taped here so that we don't, so we know where it goes, okay? That's one way of mapping where your screws go. You can kind of place them back in the hole that they were in or pre-screw them where they're supposed to go. So this screw is coming in from the top up. This is the panel that goes here. This screw comes in from up top here. This slides in. It's gonna slide in there. And then this screw is gonna go in and this is the backing to that screw. This part here slides in right here, okay? In order to get this out, it is very difficult. I recommend, I highly recommend that when you start pulling this panel out, especially for the first time, get a molding tool here. This is going to be the most difficult tab here. If you notice, part of it is sticking out like so. It actually gets stuck behind, can you shoot from here? From where I'm, my, my, so it actually gets stuck right here. Okay, you see where my finger is? It's stuck like that. You've gotta use a tool to press that down. Okay, you've gotta use a tool that's gonna get in there Hold that right there. It's, can you watch? Come back right next to me, baby. Okay, it's gonna, that's gonna get right in there and press it down. Because as you can see, it's sticking up. Okay, you see that? It's gonna be there, hold it. That's the only thing. Once you actually pry and pull this back, this is still gonna be stuck in here in the side. It's gonna be all the way wedged in. You're gonna peel this out this way, okay? So pulling this way. This is gonna still be stuck in here. Then you wanna get your fingers here and you want to yank this way, boom, and it comes out. Keep this in mind, don't try to pull from this side because for whatever reason, it's just way more difficult. You get more leverage and more strength pulling these out from here, from, from this side, than you do trying to pull it from the back. For whatever reason, that's how it worked for me. If it works for you the other way around, let me know in the comments. That's for both sides, okay? After you've pulled off these panels, you have to pull this molding off next. I was able to Unscrew the three bolts that were here, one, two, and three. 
and then kind of pry this out. There were still clips, guys. Just because you take these screws out doesn't mean that these clips aren't gonna be holding on with the Kung Fu grip, okay? So make sure you give it a good pull. They did not break, I just pulled real good. I pulled from the edge, and I think I pried from this edge, and they it just kind of worked it out, pulled out, boom. All right, there's that one. Then came this part. This part has no screws in it, okay? None whatsoever. It's just very difficult to pull out at first because those clips are in there really good. So you gotta get back there, pry it, use a pry bar, you can get in here. Be careful not to mess, ruin this finish, but you can kind of get back there. I had to yank it out. And these guys right here are no joke. These clips right here, if you see that, this is they, they, the back of these clips are holding themselves in to here, okay? Hold that out next. If you look from the top, there are some screws or bolts that you had to take out. One, two, three, four. There was also this guy. So this was up here like so. There was an upper uh, chrome molding. Let's go ahead and get to that as well. Sorry guys, it was a little bit backwards, but you get the idea. So these guys are guides. It's my very first time even looking at this, okay? But pretty self-explanatory. It clearly pulled out this way. You'll see you have these tabs here. It slides on top like so. There's probably some clips for it to clip into the top of the grill at the bottom of this. Let's see what we got. Nope, just guides, okay? These guides are gonna slide in here. There's holes for them to slide into or possibly under, but as long as you start from the edges, you'll see that it goes in just nicely. Just make sure this here, this tab slides just on top. Look at these four uh, nuts. This is where the, screw, the bolts are gonna go on top and just line them up like so. But that's pretty much how that was sitting in there. You've got a bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, bolt, uh, sorry, bolt here, 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 and here. Oh, that's not part of the headlight, I apologize. Oh, that's part of the headlight, my apologies. So here, is there anything at the very end? No, so here is where the clips came in, I believe. Yep, this, is, this just kind of sits on top like so. This guy looks like it. Okay, look, check this out, it's flexible. Get this, this under the fender, okay, the edge. Get this edge. See how this sits on top like this? This was under like so, and lined up like that, okay? You have one hole here, here, here. These are where the clips go in. Your clips, to pull them out. Well, kind of doing this backwards, but this would be how to put them in. These are these, I don't really know the name of them, the technological name. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments and I will start utilizing that name. Let's not use our nails. This is sharp. Our little trusty clip tool, clip remover tool. Okay. So you can kind of get a screwdriver in there or your clip tool. Okay, bring the teeth up under there, work it under there like so. Okay, and then this separates, like kind of like a, a rivet clip, I guess you can call it. All right, so this bad boy was in here like so, it was in like that. That's where. That's what's gonna be in all these holes here, just clips, pull this top piece off. So you're gonna go ahead, get your screwdriver in there, use your clip tool to pull it up. First pull the, the, the cap out, then get in there, pull the whole thing out. That's how it should look. Then we're going to go ahead, remove this guy, peel that off the side, put this somewhere nice and safe where it's not gonna fall. Then top molding comes out. So we've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bolts that come out. We've got these bad boys. You'll see them in there already, especially if I'm helping you take it out. So they obviously come out like so. These are eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolts. Pull the top molding out, slide it out, boom, boom, boom. Then you've got your grill, okay? To get the grill out, there are three bolts. There are gonna be two, mil two 10 millimeters and one eight millimeter. Okay, you'll, you'll clearly be able to see. There's one, two, and three. So two of these are gonna be 10 millimeter, one of them eight millimeter. Same thing on this side. Once you've pulled those out, you're gonna go ahead to these tabs here. These tabs are sitting around a headlamp uh, post, okay? Same thing on this side, okay? This comes out from the top. 
Be very careful not to scratch the paint. Another thing you're gonna wanna look into, come over on this side. This camera, see that beautiful thing right there? Your front camera, this is the plug for that, okay? It's plugged in like so. First thing you're gonna do is press the entire assembly out, make it easier on yourself. Pull this out, okay, it's clipped in. Then you've got this little tab here. Go in a little closer, please. Sorry about my ashy fingers. You're gonna go ahead and press that down and pull this out. Here we go. Pressing down, pulling out, just like that. What I would like to do is put this part that's along with the truck back into the clip. This guy can just kind of hang freely. Go ahead back up, we pull the griddle up and out. Nothing else is attached to the back of that, okay? That's gonna hold it in place. Nothing, no clips, nothing, okay? That's how you take that the grill, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste. Namaste.